Here's something I think you might be able to relate to. The bottom line is you are successful in what you do. You are good at what you do. What you accomplish day in, day out is nothing short of phenomenal. How about let's just pick up, who said thank you back there? Thank you so very much. Everybody just stand up, give yourselves a round of applause, high five a neighbor and say, we're awesome. Let's go, get up right now, get up, get up, everybody, get up. We're awesome, awesome. How many of you have been in this five years or more? Ten years or more? Longer than 10. Absolutely incredible. Thank you for what you do for Volusia County and their kids. In today's session, you're going to take away, you will receive four takeaways that will help you continue the success that this team has produced over such a long period of time. Adapting means what? change. Thank you. And how do we as, as human beings, as human nature, how do most of us tend to react to change? You're exactly right. Thank you. We don't. I can remember we had just moved to Florida and our preschool age son getting ready to go over to Horizon Elementary School the next day. Well, we're, we're getting ready to experience, I know this is kind of a weird thing, but we're getting ready to experience our first cold day in Florida. So my wife, our, our, our son's mom, being the very diligent, super organized, proactive young woman that she was, tells our son, well, David, tomorrow... I've laid out your outfit for tomorrow, and just I want to let you know, tomorrow you'll be wearing long pants. And the look on his face was utter shock. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not long pants. Mom, no, I can't wear long pants. And the poor little preschool age young boy who all he had ever known since we moved to Florida was he wore the exact same thing every single day that every other kid wore, right? T-shirt, shorts, socks, and sneakers. The poor kid cried all the way through dinner. He cried all the way through bath time. He cried all the way up until bedtime in the bed and he was crying when he woke up the next morning. <laughs> no, mama, please don't make me wear the long pants. We're in the car. We're driving down the street. Dad, please don't make me wear the long pants. We turn the corner to Horizon. Now some of you on the route, you You've, you've, you've been there. You understand where I'm going. And all of a sudden, there's the kids walking from the neighborhood. There's the moms and dads and the parent pickup, right? The big yellow school buses, and probably one of you guys was in that line. You're unloading all of those kids. And it's a cold day. All those kids. What have they got on? Hats, jackets. Gloves, scarves, and what? Long pants. He looks up and says, Dad, how did she know? <laughs> so what do you have to do every single day to be prepared for the list of challenges that you know are going to happen, not to mention the ones you don't know. You just have to be ready to deal with them the best you can. What is the number one most important element for a good, positive relationship? 
Thank you very much. I'm 100% on that answer every single time. For you to be successful in what you do, is it just you? No. I don't care if you're the best bus operator in the world. I don't care if you're the number one ranked bus attendant in the world. It's not just you. You didn't get there just by yourself. You depend on a lot of other people, right? But I was so proud of LeBron James because the announcer comes up and says, LeBron, you won the NBA championship. You're the MVP of the league. You're the MVP of the playoff series. And now you've won a gold medal. Man, don't you feel great about being LeBron James? What did he say? This ain't about me, man. This is about the team. This is about USA. We've covered three actions so far. What are they? Adapt. Be accountable. Teamwork. Work like a team. Those aren't jobs. Those are passions. I sincerely believe that the group of people in this room who do what you do, the, in the business of delivering safety, can't be as successful as you are without it being a passion.